For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Wall Street can be a fast-paced environment. Recently, investors have shifted their focus from inflation concerns to outright fears of a recession following a series of weak economic data and the Federal Open Market Committee's decision to maintain interest rates until September. Although the future of the market and the economy remains uncertain, volatility has returned, potentially causing some turbulence in the coming months. In response, investors are gravitating towards defensive investments such as stocks of recession-resistant companies. The following three blue-chip stocks are expected to perform better than most in a volatile market. They offer substantial dividends and have strong long-term growth prospects. These are reliable choices to buy and hold for the next two decades. Starting out our list is Realty Income, which is set to gain from lower interest rates. This company is a real estate investment trust that acquires and leases properties, distributing its taxable income to shareholders as dividends. Realty income distinguishes itself in several ways. First, it specializes in single-tenant retail properties, renting to businesses like convenience stores, grocery stores, movie theaters, and others. These tenants are recession-resistant, ensuring a dependable rental income. Second, Realty income uses net leases, where tenants cover maintenance, taxes, and insurance expenses. This results in highly predictable rental income for the company. Moreover, Realty income offers a monthly dividend, which is uncommon for for U.S. companies. These dividends total approximately $3.16 per share, yielding 5.3% at the current price. Realty income has increased its dividend annually since going public, maintaining the streak for 31 years, even during economic crises like the financial meltdown of 2008 to 2009 and the pandemic of 2020. This demonstrates the company's resilience and consistent ability to provide increasing dividends. Real estate investment trusts like Realty Income borrow to fund growth, so high interest rates negatively impact their business. That trend could now reverse as the Federal Open Market Committee cuts rates. This means that if interest rates fall, Realty Income could see significant benefits. Now let's jump into our second stock pick. Food and beverages are a no-brainer for long-term investors. Companies like PepsiCo may not exhibit rapid growth, but their steady expansion has provided durable investment returns for decades. PepsiCo sells its namesake soda, but is also a conglomerate of food and beverage brands, including Mountain Dew, Gatorade, Quaker, Frito-Lay, Doritos, Cheetos, and many others. PepsiCo's products are ubiquitous in grocery stores worldwide, making it difficult for the company to have a bad year. Given this context, it's no surprise that PepsiCo is an excellent dividend stock. PepsiCo is a dividend king, having achieved over 50 years of consecutive dividend growth. The stock offers a great combination of income and potential for increase due to its current yield of 3% and a 5-year annualized dividend growth rate between 6 and 7%. PepsiCo pays out about 66% of its earnings as dividends, leaving enough cushion for investment in growth or to weather an unexpected downturn. While PepsiCo is recession-resistant, management has noted that consumers have resisted price increases. As a result, the stock has dipped to a price-to-earnings ratio below 22 compared to its 5-year average of 26. The stock appears fairly valued today, not too expensive, but not cheap. Investors seeking a long-term reliable performer that can deliver consistent growth should consider PepsiCo a trustworthy investment. This means PepsiCo remains a solid choice for investors despite current challenges. Now let's talk about our last pick. Tobacco is not a dying industry yet, but is clearly in a slow decline. Philip Morris International, listed on the New York Stock Exchange as PM, has established itself as a leader in next-generation nicotine products, which include smokeless offerings like vaping and heated tobacco devices, as well as oral nicotine pouches. Philip Morris began its journey into next-generation products in 2014 and has grown these innovations into a significant part of its business. This renewed growth positions Philip Morris to provide investors with significant returns over the coming decades. The stock already offers a high yield, starting at 4.4%. Additionally, the payout is expected to grow nicely since analysts predict the company will grow earnings at a high single-digit pace over the long term. Organic smoke-free product revenue grew over 18% year-over-year in quarter two, demonstrating the momentum of these next-generation products. Philip Morris is growing again despite the overall decline in smoking. The stock is more expensive than in recent years. Shares trade at a price-to-earnings ratio of 18 compared to a 5-year average of 17. However, the company's growth, strong position in next-generation nicotine products, and high starting dividend yield seem sufficient to justify a long-term investor purchasing shares. This means that despite its higher current valuation, Philip Morris remains a compelling investment due to its growth and dividend potential. 
In the end, Realty Income, PepsiCo, and Philip Morris International are three blue chip stocks that are well suited for a volatile market. Realty Income stands out due to its recession resistant tenants and predictable rental income. PepsiCo remains a reliable choice due to its diverse product portfolio and consistent dividend growth. Philip Morris International shows promise with its next generation nicotine products despite the slow decline of traditional tobacco. All three companies offer strong dividends and long term growth prospects, making them solid investments to hold for the next 20 years. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.